Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is part two of my lipstick declutter. I am super excited to share this with you guys. In case you missed part one, I will link it in the description box below. I went through and decluttered 60 lipsticks from my makeup collection, which is crazy to me because my ultimate goal was 75 and I still have a whole half of my drawer to go through. So I'm kind of thinking that I want to extend my goal to 100, which I don't know if I should even say that because I feel like that's a lot of lipsticks to kind of still go through, but I'm thinking that I I can do it. If not, I'll definitely hit 75 and come close to 100. So I am super excited to declutter my collection with you guys. A few things that I wanted to quickly address in this video in regards to decluttering based on comments and questions that I've gotten from my other videos. Decluttering is basically where I go through and I get rid of old or expired products and I throw those away because they're no longer good to use. Or I go through and I pick products that I don't really like anymore, that I've used maybe once or twice but I don't wear, and I give them to friends or family members. I don't give them away to you guys just because if I've used them it's not very hygienic to pass them along to somebody I'm not really related to or somebody that just doesn't really care about you know it being on my lips so that is why I give them to friends or family members. I think that some people find decluttering wasteful which I definitely get. I think you know my collection is somewhat bigger than the average person's collection just because I make YouTube videos, I receive a lot of products for free, I try a lot of things for my channel so I really think that's part of the reason I don't really get to use a lot of my products just because I find things that I love and I stick with them just like any other person would and you know it is kind of disheartening I guess to go through and see that you didn't use products that they've just kind of been sitting in there but that's exactly why I do decluttering videos because I pass them along to other people and I want to encourage you even if your collection is not as big as mine you can totally go through and declutter your collection doesn't have to have this many lipsticks in it to do this it's just important to go through and do that every once in a while it's really great to open up the drawer and only see products that you use and you love because it really just helps you to focus on using those products rather than seeing a bunch of lipsticks that you'll never use again. So I just wanted to throw that out there. Let's jump into it and I will declutter the other half of my collection. Okay, so in case you guys missed part one, I will link it in the description box below. I went through and decluttered this half of my lipstick collection, and I got rid of quite a few lipsticks. I'll have the number on the screen for you. After I did that, I actually added about five back into my collection. Usually after I declutter, I'll go through and just make sure I want to get rid of them. So I'm actually starting with this number today, and we're going to add to it because we're going to be decluttering this side. This side definitely includes more of my most worn lipsticks. I wear these lipsticks probably the most out of any lipsticks ever, or my ColourPop lippy sticks so I don't think I'll be getting rid of as many as I did on this side I definitely wanted to clear out more of like the traditional lipsticks but I still do have a bunch over here that I don't wear that just need to be passed on to somebody else so I'm going to go through my collection oops I dropped one I'm gonna go through my collection declutter it and let's jump into it I will start with this Tarte Lip Surgeon's Lip Tint in the shade Charmed this is really nice but I don't end up wearing it and I've only used it like once or twice so time to declutter that one this color is really Really beautiful this one is another one of their lip surgeons crayons in the shade flesh but again I just don't wear it so I will declutter that one these two have made it through my declutters so many times I've actually gone through and gotten rid of most of them but again I just don't wear them very often I really like these Laca & Co lip pencils this one's actually like a multitasking product it's meant for your cheeks or your lips and this one is super pigmented it's a really beautiful color so I think I will hang on to this one these are so pigmented I absolutely love these and I'm not a huge hot pink person but I think I'll keep that one and see if I wear it during the spring or the summer before I declutter. I just got this Pacifica Power of Love natural lipstick. I feel like I probably got it in a subscription box. I think it broke but it is still usable. I've actually never worn it, only swatched it but it's a really pretty nude shade so I think I will hang on to this one and at least try it out before I get rid of it. Then I have this Trustique Lip Crayon in the shade Chili Red. Again, I've only swatched this one too, but it is so, so pretty. It's a really gorgeous kind of almost semi-matte formula. So I think I will hang on to this one because I definitely love my reds. I love these Stila Longwear Lip Colors. I don't think they even make these anymore. So I do have two of these. I love these. They are so pigmented and beautiful. I get mine from Hot Look, but I feel like they were discontinued, which is so disappointing because I love them. So I am going to keep these. And then I'm actually going to keep these Revlon Color Burst Matte Balms. Matte ones are so beautiful, and I like to wear them during the springtime. So I will hang on to these this spring and see if I get any use out of them before I declutter them. This Laca & Co. color is so gorgeous. It's like the perfect 
combination of red and kind of like purpley well it's mostly red so it's really gorgeous I think I'll keep that one for a little while longer this is the LOC Tati collaboration it is a nude lip color and I haven't really worn that so I think I'll keep it for a little while longer I promise I will declutter some of my lipsticks I'm just kind of going through my favorites right now these are the lilac lip colors by L'Oreal which again I love so I'll keep these as well I'm not off to the greatest start here I only have four in my pile so far so I am going to get rid of a few of these elf matte lip colors I honestly didn't realize that I even had so many of them okay I just swatched a few of them so I have nearly nude coral praline these two are both natural and then the last one is tea rose I actually love these I always forget I love them because I have so many other lip colors that I just wear more often but I think I'm going to hang on to nearly nude and coral because those are really gorgeous I think I'm going to pass along praline just because it's a little bit dark for me and I probably won't wear it very often I have two natural so I'll keep one of them and then pass the other one along and then the last one is tea rose which I think is really gorgeous but really I probably won't wear that very often so I'll pass that one along as well okay so I have hot commodity dash of pink this one is in the shade fuchsia then I have mulberry maven wine and the last one is oh mulberry maven again okay so I think I am going to keep this one it's a really gorgeous is coral that one is hot commodity so I will hang on to that one and then I think I'm going to keep a dash of pink as well because that's a really gorgeous color so I will keep both of those and then I think I'm going to declutter this one which is fuchsia and then I will probably declutter one of the mulberry mavens so I will probably keep two of these just for the winter time I think they're good to have and they're really pretty colors so I am going to keep rowdy rug which is this bright red one I think that it is so pigmented and beautiful I will definitely wear that one I am going to pass along rich red which is this one just because I have a lot of colors that already look like that I'm going to keep Berry Sorbet because I love that. I have two Scarlet Nights, but I think I'm going to go ahead and declutter those. And then I have a clear. Oh, well, I didn't even swatch that. I have a clear one, which I'll keep for now. So over here I have a bunch of my Too Faced Melted Lipsticks, which I love. I'm definitely going to hang on to these. So I love those. I will definitely keep those. I do have a few mini sizes, which since I already have the larger size, I am going to pass along the mini, the mini sizes to somebody else. So I have this Hourglass Liquid Lipstick in the shade Icon. It's been a while since I wore it. I actually bought it based on YouTube recommendations. It is a pretty color but I don't remember what the formula is like so I think I'm going to have to wear that before I decide whether or not to get rid of it so I'll hang on to it for now I do love my Stila liquid lipsticks like these are some of my favorite they literally stay in place all day long I have one of these Sephora luster matte Longwear lip colors I used to love this I haven't worn it in the longest time but it is a really really gorgeous color it's super comfortable on the lips I think again I'm gonna have to wear this one before I decide whether or not to get rid of it so I'll hang on to it for now I have this liquid lipstick from Meryl Norman in the shade It Girl. It's so beautiful, but I think I'm going to go ahead and pass it along to somebody else just because I honestly never wear it. I have so many liquid lipsticks. I have this Ofra Cosmetics liquid lipstick, which again, I don't think I've actually worn this, so I think I'll hang on. Well, let me see what the color looks like. I hear so many people raving about these lately, and I had a few of them from subscription boxes. This color is really pretty, but I actually have one from the Balm that looks exactly like it, so I think I'll pass that one along. And then this is the one I was talking about. The Balm has a bunch of these Meet Matte Hughes liquid lipsticks, which are amazing. I love them. They're, oh, that's kind of messy. These are some of my favorites, but this color is super similar. It's a little bit darker, but I really, really like these, so I think I will keep these as well. This is a shade I don't know if I wear. It's in the shade Honest. It's kind of a weird... Not a weird color, but it kind of has like orange undertones, which I'm not big on, so I think I will declutter that I one. definitely think I'll keep these four, though, just because they're definitely colors I would wear for sure. I do have a mini liquid lipstick. Oh, wait, I didn't even see this one. This looks like a dark red. This is really pretty. I'll definitely keep this one for now. I do have this mini lipstick, but since I have the larger size, I am going to go ahead and declutter this one as well. And then I have two of these Cynthia Rowley liquid lipsticks. I haven't worn these in a long time. It's just I've gotten like so many more... Oh, this one, this one feels like it kind of changed texture. It's not really working that well. So it's time to actually toss this one. And then I have this mini one. Let's see what this one looks like. Oh, it's not like super pigmented compared to the other one. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that one as well. And then the last one in here is from the brand Miraness. I don't know. It's kind of chunky. So I think I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this one as well. 
Okay, let's do my ColourPop Ultra Matte Liquid Lipsticks. I hate to even think about parting with any of these because I love them so much. They usually actually sit on my vanity just so I can look at them and have lots of options to choose from because they're just, they're my favorite lipstick, I think, just because they go on and they stay on really well. But it is time to declutter some of them because there are a few shades that I don't wear. So I don't foresee myself getting rid of too many of these because these are like the nude and the pink shades, which are definitely something that I wear a lot. I will go ahead and declutter this. This one. This one's in the shade of Dr. M just because it's like a bright green or like a forest green and I, I really honestly don't wear that one. This one is in the shade Vice and I feel like it might be a little bit too light for me. Let me swatch this one. I think I am going to go ahead and declutter that one as well. That's a swatch in case you guys are interested. But as for the rest of them, well, let me, let me swatch this one. This one's Limbo. I definitely don't wear that one either because it's like your true brown. I know a lot of people like brown lipstick right now so if you like brown lipstick you might might like Limbo, but let's see. I have a few other ones. I do like Kapow. It's a really gorgeous shade. Teeny Tiny's pretty too. I know I didn't get rid of too many. I got rid of three, but I think I'm going to hang on to the rest of these because they are nude and pink and they're definitely something I reach for. So I am going to go ahead and declutter this blue one. This is in the shade Mr. Blonde, which is a gorgeous color. I just don't wear it. And this one is in the shade um, jellies, which again, this one was so gorgeous. I remember doing a lip swatch video and I loved them, but I just, I don't wear blue lipstick. This one is so dark. This one is actually in the color Guess, and I don't know. I don't, I guess, honestly, I probably won't wear it, so I'm going to go ahead and declutter this one. I love these shades, so I'll hang on to these, and again, I'm not a huge purple lipstick fan, but I actually wore this one in a video and I loved how it looks, so I think I'll hang on to this one for a little while. This one's a little bit more wearable, so I'll keep that one and I love their reds this one is like a straight orange this one's in the shade Pacific and I just I don't really wear orange lipstick so I will go ahead and declutter this one this purple is in the shade koala and this one just makes my teeth look super yellow so it is time to go ahead and declutter this one I think I'll hang on to the rest of those for now I did choose five colors I feel like this wasn't a super hard decision for me because these are like the only lipsticks I wear lately so I am going to keep them even though I am doing a declutter but for now I'll hang on to most of them so so right here I have a bunch of my ColourPop lippy sticks. I feel like the only way that I know if I'm going to declutter them is by swatching similar colors and just seeing what I have duplicates of because really I love the ColourPop lippy sticks so it's not like I'll get rid of any of them based on formula. So let me take a look and see which ones are really similar. Okay, we're going to speed through the lippy sticks four at a time. So I have Peppermint, Crunch, Frida and Kiddo. I'm going to keep all four of these. These two are sheer. Peppermint is a matte formula and Frida is a satin formula. This one is Ruffle. Then we have Grunge, Mosh Pit, and Poison. These are all matte formulas as well. I'm going to hang on to these two and then go ahead and pass these two along to somebody else. So I have Lumiere, Contempo, Oh Snap, and Last Call. They're all matte formulas except for Last Call, which is a cream formula. I love these. I think that these are like my four favorite ColourPop lippy sticks, so I am definitely going to hang on to these. Okay, I have Safari, BYOB, and Juice Bar, which are all the sheer formula, and then Baywatch, which is the matte formula. I am going to go ahead and declutter this one, which is Safari, just because it's a little bit orange for me, but I'm going to hang on to the other ones. So this one is Peacocky, Jingle, TGIF, and Dazed. This one is sheer, and the other three are the matte formula, so I think that I'm actually going to keep these I'll, I'm going to keep three of them and then I'm going to pass Dazed along to somebody else just because it's not like a true red. It's a little bit more of a berry and I have other lipsticks like that. So I have Out of Sync which is a matte formula. Then this one is Night Owl and that is a cream formula. This one is 54, it's pearlized, and then this one is tiger and it is sheer. I don't wear a whole lot of like bright pink lipstick, but since spring and summer are right around the corner, I feel like I'm gonna try to wear more pink lipstick, so I think I'll actually hang on to these for now. I don't know, it's such a hard decision. I'm gonna keep them for okay, now. Okay, so this one is too sexy. This one is a satin finish. This one's plastics and it is a matte finish. This one is whip and it is a sheer finish. And then the last one is boogie and it is a satin luxe finish. I really like this finish. I don't think I own a lot of the satin luxe finishes. I'm not a super big purple person, but I do, I don't know, all of these kind of look super similar to me too. I think I'm actually going to pass along this sheer one, even though I love the sheer ones, just because I don't, 
think a purple sheer lipstick is really my favorite. I think I'll keep this one because I really liked how that one applied. The formula was so nice. I think I'll keep this one because it is the matte formula and I like that a little bit better. So I am going to pass along to Sexy. The last two I have are Nevermind, which is this dark matte formula, and then Silk, which is a matte formula as well. This one went on so nicely. I love this. I'm definitely going to start wearing this more often. And then I'm going to pass along this one because it's a little bit dark for me. I wear like these three sections of my lipstick drawer the most often, so I don't feel bad about holding on to them if I am going to wear them. So back here I have lip balm. I have this lip balm. I got this from a glossy box. Honestly, it's not the greatest lip balm I've ever tried, so I am going to declutter that one. I have one of the e.l.f. lip lock pencils which I really like so I will hang on to that one. This is a Julep lip scrub. It's really old. I actually loved it, but it is a few years old, so it is time to toss this one. I have Cha Cha Tint from Benefit. Honestly, I've never really given this a fair shot, so I think I'll hang on to it. So I have the Kaplan MD Lip Mask, which comes with the lip balm. You're supposed to use them together. They're not the greatest thing I've ever tried, so I am going to pass those along to somebody else as well. This is in the shade New Wave, but honestly, this color is just a little bit crazy for me. I don't think I'll probably end up wearing it, so I will give that one to somebody else. This is like my holy grail lip product. This is the e.l.f. I don't know, it doesn't have a name, the lip color remover. I have this City Lips Lip Plumper. I think I'll pass that one along to somebody else just because I don't really get into lip plumpers. These are lip balms that I really, really love. They're from the Post. They're made with like natural ingredients and they are so moisturizing. So I will hang on to those. Then I have this Mary Kay Satin Lips Lip Mask. I just got rid of the lip balm and then lip mask isn't bad, but this is really old. I've had it for a few years, so it's time to toss that one. I have the e.l.f. Conditioning Lip Balm, which I love this. The packaging is just so bulky but the color is really beautiful and then back here I have one of the elf lip exfoliators in sweet cherry which I love it and then lastly I have a lip balm in the shade pink princess but this is super shimmery and I just I don't really wear it very often so I'm going to go ahead and declutter that Okay, I did it. I am so relieved to be done decluttering this. I was really dreading decluttering this side of my lipstick collection just because they're my favorite, but I feel like I did get rid of a good amount of lip products that I just don't use. I did hang on to a bunch, but honestly, I think I'll get a lot of use out of them, and I think I'm going to do another declutter after summer just because I'm hanging on to a lot of colors waiting for spring and summer, but if I don't wear them, then I'll have to declutter those as well. I think I'll really be able to focus on the lipsticks that I have, and I really want to make more of an effort to kind of branch out and try other lipsticks instead of just hoarding them and keeping them in my drawer. So thank you guys so much for watching my lipstick declutter. Stay tuned because I still have a ton of drawers to declutter.